Along the Cape Arago Highway, gorgeous vistas marked by landmark buildings like the Cape Arago Lighthouse make the seaside travel worth your time. At nearby Cape Arago State Park, Shell Island is alive with marine life. I like the sound. <laughs> a good place for a spotting scope or binoculars, and then watch the show. Marty Giles is an environmental teacher who leads groups through the area. She says more than 3,000 sea lions haul out on Simpson Reef. They put on quite the show. Kind of imagine a group of anxious kids in the back seat of a car on a long trip. You're in my way, you're over my line, move, you touch me. <laughs> and you can see that kind of behavior going on where they walk over one another and grump at each other and, and move around. At nearby Charleston Harbor at the University of Oregon's new Marine Life Center, discover an experience made for the curious. They're so interested and so excited to be here, but they may not know enough about the organisms, but they're not afraid to ask. So my favorite part is being able to teach them, and then that gets them more excited, and they spread the word, and more people come. Carly Salant is a marine biology student who also works at this $2 million museum and aquarium. She says it's the only one of its kind on the southern Oregon coast, where visitors are greeted by full-size skeletons. Yeah, these are the real thing. So right in the front here, the toothed whale, that's a female orca. And then right behind her is an adolescent ray whale. The center offers interactive lessons on coastal ecosystems, deep water habitats, and diverse sea life through hands-on shallow touch tanks with starfish, anemones, and sea urchins. It's sticking on me. Look, this one's a trap. If you time your visit at lunch, watch Rachel Prescott feed an array of green life from young octopus, varied rockfish, an amazing basket sea star. They're using those small tentacles to gather the food up and then bring it towards the oral disc right in the center. And Puget Sound crab. This is a pretty average size. They'll grab any food that comes by and rip it apart and eat the little pieces. And they blend in with the rocks really well, especially when they close up. What a cool job you guys. <laughs> I love it. It's never a dull moment, that's for sure. The new two-story, 6,400-square-foot building was built entirely through donations. It is a place that will teach you much about our coastal waters through teachable moments, and it should not be missed. So it's a great collection of people that work here and that come through to visit.